My name is Dr. Saadatu B. Adam. You can call me Dr. Adam. I'm your facilitator on the course EFM 304, which is financial systems. I'm from the Department of Financial Studies, Faculty of Management Sciences. Today being our first lesson for the semester, uh, a discussion with you on financial system, the various operations of financial system, the participants, and then later on we'll look at international financial systems and their participants and their operations, all both multinational you know, corporations and you know the others. I hope we are going to enjoy the facilitation and it is going to be an interactive session. Thank you very much. The topic for today is financial systems, its functions and operations. And you can see uh, by the side, you know, the demonstration of the participants in the capital market. Later on, we shall you know, discuss both markets and then we shall see the participants in the market. Financial system. This is uh, the definition of financial system, which is known to be the interconnectivity of network or units that form a whole. So it could be, you know, uh, the set of rules or regulations or practices that govern a system or the operations of a system. And the definition was given by Asham when you refer to your course material. And a financial system is referred to a set of rules, regulations, operations, standards that govern financial dealings and flows through and within the economy. Financial system, when you look at it, is just like the system in your body. When you have the digestive system, it's a combination of units of a digestive system. You have the esophagus, we have the mouth, we have the you know intestine, and so on. They are the units that form the system. So when you're referring to financial system, it's also an interconnectivity or network of units that form the whole system. And it deals with the flow of you know, finance within the economy. The functions of financial system is very vital to the economy because it is the, you know, it shows the weakness or otherwise of an economy where an economy is boosting you can only tell that when you look at the financial system, where there are lapses or weaknesses in an, in an economy of any nation, it is from the financial system that you can easily identify that weakness, and then you go and address it, whether from the you know um, the, the 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 participants or the you know various units of the system. Operations of a financial system. A financial system operates on the basis of interactions among participants, offering financial instruments to raise you know, funds. So basically, the financial system is there to raise funds through the issuance of financial instruments from the various you know, forms of markets that we have. This requires certain regulations. We don't you don't just you know, offer financial instruments to the public to subscribe. But it has to be through, you know, abiding by the rules and regulations that are necessary for the smooth operations of that financial system, which is mostly instituted by the government of the nation, and um, specifically by the Apex Bank, which is you know, the central bank of Nigeria. The suppliers of surplus funds get compensated mainly in form of interest, capital gains, and dividends. This means. You don't offer your money. You don't invest your money without, you know, any compensation, only any or any returns. The expectation that is that when you, you know, invest your money in any, you know, market or the issuance of these instruments, you get interest, capital gains, and dividends. While the financial intermediaries, the, such as the stock brokers, jobbers that make this, you know, inter, in, inter, in, the intermediation possible are also you know, 
they are also entitled to commissions profits for their intermediary role. There are primary system participants. These are the fundraisers, such as corporate entities, institutions, and institutions like the commercial banks, government agencies. They make use of financial instruments such as shares, bonds, treasury bills. They are the intermediate between the surplus unit of the economy to the deficit unit of the economy in the transfer of funds. So now you will look at the instruments that are involved in this financial market. The financial market instruments provide necessary framework for the, for, for the conduct of operations of the system. The financial markets are in two categories. We have the capital market and the money market. The capital market basically deals with you know, funding for a long time, while the you know, uh, money market is just for um, uh, financing you know, short-term financial obligations. And the instruments used for financial and financial instruments used in the money market include treasury bills, treasury certificates, certificates of deficit, bills of exit, and a host of others. While in the capital market, we have instruments that are traded, such as the equity shares, reference shares, government bonds, corporate bonds, debenture, and a lot of others. So you can look at if you look at this, you can be able to differentiate. The maturity period of treasury bills is short term, within one year mostly. While if you look at equity shares, it extends to you know a longer period, I mean getting into years before it has been you know um, settled, and you, you get dividends you know from the issuance. Financial intermediaries, these are facilitators of the financial dealings conducted within the financial system, and they serve as mediators between the fundraisers and the suppliers. Just as we have mentioned in the earlier slide. They consist of the commercial banks, you know, the government in, in uh, inter government agencies, and here you can also see them commercial and merchant banks, specialized banks. So, so, so many of them, such as investment bank, development bank, insurance companies, primary mortgage institutions, and a lot of others. Financial system regulators, just as we have mentioned, for any financial system to operate, there must be rules and regulations that must be abided by for the smooth operation of that you know, system. So these are agencies that regulate the operations of the financial system in free market economies without direct government intervention. And the relevant regulators of financial systems in free market include you know, the stock exchange, the securities and exchange commission. And in addition, where necessary, other regulatory agencies may be evolved or may be formed. They will serve as surveillance on the practices as prompted by contemporary issues such as corporate governance and accounting standards. These are checkmating, you know, the functions of other, you know, the other regulators like the stock exchange and the, uh, the, 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 the Nigerian Securities and Exchange Commission. We have institutions like the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Company. They are those, you know, that serve as surveillance function of those, you know, institutions. Then apart from the basic, you know, financial institutions that we have within an economy, which is peculiar to that economy of a nation, we have in addition, which is the global look of the financial institutions and we refer to it as international financial system. The international financial system is a global network operation that creates interactions among institutions their customers and financial regulators. You can see you know, the, the relationship between the basic financial system within a, a nation. That is peculiar with you know, the, the peculiarity of that nation. And we have so many rules and regulations that is peculiar to that existing you know, nation, but this one is international. It is, you know, it is viewed as at the global level. You can refer to James and Heike 2007 to get, you know, a clearer you know, definition of what an international financial system is. He referred to it as constituting various official and legal arrangements that govern international financial flows in the forms of loans, investment payments for goods and services, interest and profit remittances. Main players of international financial system, just like the basic financial system that we have mentioned, International financial system also has its main players. 
they are basically the Bank for International Settlements, International Monetary Funds. Then we have the customers of global financial system, which include the central banks of the G20 major economies, multinational corporations, finance ministries, among others. And then we have the regulators of global financial system, which you know uh, comprises of the central bank governors, basically the members that are involved in the financial international financial system. Network of participants in the international financial system. This include global financial institutions such as the IMF, which which watch over the role, the main the main role of IMF is to watch over the balance of payments of the members. Where the balance of payments we have discrepancy in it, the the role of is uh, the international finance. I mean, the role of international monetary fund comes in and then it tries to address you know any irregularity on the balance of payments of the members. Then we have the International Bank for Reconciliation, Reconstruction and Development, and which is you know, basically the World Bank, which provides funding to, to members, where the members have shortcoming, I mean short short of funds, they have you know deficit, they try to you know help them you know in their financial lapses. Then we have the World Trade Organization, which settles disputes. Trade disputes means basically and it negotiates you know, trading between the members. Member countries that try to you know, uh, involve themselves in trade, the, the World Trade Organizations intermediate between the two countries for negotiation of how the trade is going to you know, carry out. And then where there are disputes in, in, in the process of the trading, they settle the disputes, they address you know, whatever you know, um, disputes arises as a threat of the Thank you very much. And if there is any you know, issue that you need to raise, you can raise and upload for the first you know, uh, lesson. Uh, so far, this is what we have.